to the old House of Delegates Chamber at the Maryland State House. I'm Chris Haley, Director of the Study of the Legacy of Slavery Program at the Maryland State Archives. And I'm Maya Davis, a research archivist in the Legacy of Slavery Program at the Maryland State Archives. Commemorate September as International Underground Railroad Month and Maryland's role in supporting this vital network of brave men and women who sought freedom from enslavement, we are here in this historic room where the abolition of slavery in Maryland was finally achieved by the ratification of a new state constitution in November 1864. The chamber has been recreated to the way it looked in the late 19th century, and the exhibits here interpret Maryland's history during the period of the Civil War when Maryland's leadership prevailed in keeping the state from seceding from the Union. However, as a border state, many Maryland residents sympathized with the Confederacy and many people were enslaved here, with the practice being legal since the mid 17th century. To honor two of the nation's most important leaders in the struggle to end slavery, who were both native Marylanders, the State House Trust commissioned statues of Harry Tubman and Frederick Douglass for this room and they were dedicated in February of this year. Although neither Tubman nor Douglas were actually in this room when slavery ended, their statues were created and placed here to stand as witnesses to the abolition of slavery in their home state, from which each had fled years before to seek their own freedom. Harriet Tubman, depicted here in her early 40s, is depicted at the age she would have been during the Maryland Emancipation. She was born in Dorchester County around 1822 and self-emancipated from the state of Maryland on September 17, 1849. The image depiction shown here is based on a newly acquired image that is jointly owned by the National Museum of African American History and Culture and the Library of Congress. Frederick Douglass, native born of Talbot County in Maryland, was the most photographed man in the 19th century a champion of abolition and freedom for persons of color, as well as a supporter of women's rights, Frederick Douglass here is represented close to his actual height of six feet. The hands you see in this statue were represented and modeled by his great, great, great grandson, Kenneth Morris, Jr. And in an 1868 letter to Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass wrote, the difference between us is very marked. Most that I have done and suffered in the service of our cause has been in public, and I have received much encouragement at every step of the way. You, on the other hand, have labored in a private way. I have wrought in the day, you in the night. I have had the applause of the crowd and the satisfaction that comes of being approved by the multitude, while the most that you have done has been witnessed by a few trembling, scared, and foot-sore bondsmen and women whom you have led out of the house of bondage, and whose heartfelt God bless you has been your only reward. The midnight sky and the silent stars have been the witnesses of your devotion to freedom and of your heroism. We hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of the old House of Delegates chamber and get a chance to visit the statues when the State House reopens. For more stories about the Underground Railroad and how African Americans have contributed to the history of Maryland, please visit us at the Maryland State Archives Legacy of Slavery Program website.